Buggle up. We're going on a road trip. A lot of folks always ask me, David, I want to get into barbecue. What kind of grill should I buy? Well, if that's you, you're watching the right video. Make sure you stick around because we're going to head over to the Smokestack Barbecue Supply Store and figure out all the types of different grills that you could possibly buy and which one might be a good fit for you. So I made it to the Smokestack Barbecue Supply Store and I've got my buddy. Hi, I'm Alan. You guys should remember Alan from the pizza video that we shot here at the Smokestack Barbecue Supply Store before they moved into their beautiful new space that is loaded full of grills. And of course, I brought in a professional to answer the question, what kind of grill should I buy? I always get that question from new people yes. that are coming in. And Alan sells grills for a living all day, every day at the Smokestack Barbecue Supply Store. We're going to take a look at four or five grills in this video. Uh, we're going to look at a gas option, a pellet, two pellet options, and possibly a charcoal option, maybe even an offset. Who knows, but stick around. You don't want to miss it. Uh, lots of information coming at you right now. Alan, I am brand new to this game. I've been watching YouTube. I've seen the YouTube greats like Machete Boys Barbecue. I have seen Matt Pittman from Meat Church. I've been watching them all, consuming tons of content. I'm yep. ready, man, but I have never cooked anything in my life before. I'm brand new to this, right? What is going to be the grill? What do I need to think about if I'm going to be getting into the barbecue game? So. Uh, it's a lifestyle choice. Yeah. So uh, it all comes down to what fits your lifestyle best. So are you retired? Are you on the go with the kids? You got a little one in some rec sports and you're constantly on the go. Um, do you like to just hang out with your buddies and drink a beer, manage some fire? Do you just want to be able to turn something on and let it go? What do you prefer? Um, Let's do this. So it's a Wednesday night. Okay. And kid kid has soccer practice okay you got 30 minutes to, to nail out some burgers okay what you want to do it i you want to do, do a gas it. grill uh yeah I, I think probably a gas grill if, I, if that's yeah. what i'm going to be mainly using it for is to cook burgers do something quick um and i don't really have a lot of time yeah i want to be able to yeah. hit, hit a button and have dinner ready in like 45 minutes and the gas grill is probably where i'm going I'm going to show you the Napoleon Prestige Pro. It's one of my favorite gas grills. Yeah. Uh, it's got a, it's loaded with features and it has a fantastic warranty. Okay. Lifetime warranty. Wow. So that is a big kicker. I, uh, I know you said you're new to the grilling game, but do you know anyone who's maybe bought a grill before? Yeah, I mean, like guys are buying those Dyna grills all the time, and they're just like you know going constantly back, couple, and ports yeah, and all kinds of stuff. Back, yeah. So this is the Napoleon Prestige Pro 500. So what I love about this grill, um, one, it looks really cool with the blue lights. You can change these lights a uh, variety of different colors. So one, it looks really neat sitting on your desk, or deck, not desk. If you put this on your desk, you're gonna struggle. Where I say it's loaded with features here, uh, starting out with the grate. So these are a nine and a half millimeter grate. Uh, they're really heavy duty. It comes with soft closed cabinet doors. You've got a ton of storage options down here. Uh, so you've got cutting down on that clutter on your deck. Um, you don't got to worry about the kids slamming these things. One of the big things for me, I have two small uh, kids at home. If they were to come up and turn one of these burners on, this is a nice safety feature. It lets you know that that burner's lit, uh, that there's gas flowing to it. Um, so added little feature there. And then you have this awesome side searing station on here. Uh, this goes up to 1800 degrees and it's ready in about 30 seconds. So you can really sear a steak off and just no time flat with this thing. You got lights on the inside of the grill. So if you're gonna be grilling at night, you have that. They also come with the rotisserie burner and the commercial rotisserie. So this is a commercial grade rotisserie with it and a lifetime warranty. This is going to be the grill for you guys that only, don't have a lot of time. You want to get down to business as quickly as possible. Gas is going to be the great option. Yep. Alan, the Napoleon, it looks pretty sweet. I'm not a gas guy, but from what you're telling me about it, I mean, I probably would be all over this grill in a heartbeat. One question that I do have, what if, what if I was going to be cooking a pork butt? Could I do a pork butt on this? So Napoleon has this really cool charcoal tray insert that yeah. you can put in here for guys who don't like gas. Or maybe you like the convenience of gas, but you don't like to deal with the charcoal cleaning. Yeah. So you can take the grates out, place this cast iron tray inside here, put the grate back over, use your burner to light that charcoal up, 
and then just shut the burner down and you could set it up as an offset smoker if you want. So it sounds like a versatile grill too it as is. well. It yeah, and really something that someone who's just getting into the game can learn a lot more about barbecue. All right, Alan, so that covers the 30 minute guy. The next guy is probably gonna be drinking a beer, doing it on the weekends, hanging out with his buddies. Um, you know, he's got a backyard and he's just got, he's gonna be ready to cook something. Definitely consuming lots of YouTube content. So he's gonna be coming to the store to buy all of the latest meat church products that he can find, Absolutely. but he needs something to cook it on. What are we gonna show him? Oh man, what do you say we look at an offset? Hey David, so you said the next guy has a little bit of time on his hands, gonna hang out in the backyard with his buddies. I like to run an offset when I got time to sit around and have a few beverages. Offset is my way to go. So this is the Anchor Grills Michigan offset. It's 4224 chamber. Um, that references the size for those folks that may not know the 4224. Um, so uh, what I like about Anchor is this grill is made here in Minnesota in Lake Crystal. Um, it's new to our store. Um, Paul does a fantastic job with these grills. So you can see right away the powder coat on this thing. It looks great. You have a nice counterweight up here to help with this door. Opening that bad boy up. You don't want to try to lift that if it didn't have the counterweight on it. Um, this is quarter inch steel. So it's nice, thick, built to last. Um, and this one just comes down to fire management time and hanging out. Uh, this is traditional barbecue flavor right here, I would say. Alan, so the offset's gonna be the grill for the guy that's got some time. He's a weekend warrior. He's gonna be hanging out with his buddies. He's gonna toss some sticks. He's gonna buy his sticks here at the Smokestack Barbecue Supply Store. You guys have Smoky all- Smoky Woods. Smoky Woods. So we got pecan, we got apple, we got oak, we got anything I'm missing? Poke stoke in there. We got some hickory. poke stoke in there, yeah. So maybe you've been watching Aaron Franklin videos and you're like, I need an offset grill. This is gonna be the one that you wanna take a look at. But, you know, that's not everybody that's buying grills out there. We probably have the guy that wants the traditional wood flavor. Okay. But, again, he's a little bit scared of managing a fire. You know what I mean? Like, he, he needs he something. You just want to set it, forget it type deal? Yeah, kind of like, you know, I don't want to say easy bake oven because I don't want to offend anyone. But, you know, set it, forget it. I can get some gadgets so I can watch the yeah. temperature on my phone. What do I want to look at? I'm more of a gadget guy. Let's check out the Yoders. The, Let's check those out. The Yoders. Awesome. Yep. We're going to check out a Yoder right now. David, here we have the Yoder YS640 on a competition cart. I love this pellet grill because, one, you can set it, forget it, walk away from it. It has a fantastic uh, temperature range as far as the smoking goes. It goes from 150 degrees to 600 degrees. So you can smoke low and slow. You can grill hot and fast on this thing. Best part is it's American made in Yoder, Kansas. Uh, as far as the grilling aspect of this goes, you can just remove this plate right here out of this um, drip tray and you're right over that fire pot. So you can sear uh, right over the open flame on this grill. Uh, fantastic uh, space in here so you can fit a ton of food. They use the Fireboard app as their uh, electronics on here. So you can download the Fireboard app and monitor everything from your phone. You can turn the grill up you turn the grill uh, down and you can turn the grill off from the app and it comes with the probe so you can just if you're cooking a brisket or a pork butt you just run those through your probe port here plug it in and away you go yoder ys640 is the grill for the guy that's got some time and a little coin and a little coin and a little coin right yeah but you guys let's yoder is great and i love yoder because it's an american-made product and it's made in kansas city which is which is awesome but Again, we got the guy that's watching all the YouTube videos, man. He wants what's hot. What's the hottest thing that's mm. out there, the newest thing, you know, because he wants to follow the YouTube that. video yep. to a T, man. I he wants that. everything that that guy so on YouTube thinking, has. You're thinking Chad Ward. Yeah. Matt Pittman. Yeah. Maybe a little Heath Riles. Yeah. Track. I don't know. That's how we say Traeger here in Minnesota, but how did you say that again? Traeger. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> this is for the guy that also wants a pellet smoker that's going to be easy, but he also wants something that he's seen everywhere that he knows is going to work and can take the guesswork out of everything. Absolutely. Here we go. All right, David. So here we have the Ironwood XL. Um, why I love this grill. So the Ironwood XL is set up uh, very similar to the Timberline XL. So you've probably seen those uh, videos with Matt, Chad Ward, all those guys using the Timberline XL. 
I like the Ironwood XL because it's most of the same features um, at a fraction of the price point of the Timberline XL. So what's great about this thing? So the controller in here, the controller is the exact same control unit as the Timberline XL. Um, and the grease and ash system is really the big kicker on this grill. So it's very convenient to clean out. Uh, really all you have to do for this thing is uh, scrape the drip tray down on it and away you go. Dump out your grease and ash keg bucket and it's all set. You get a ton of room on here. The super smoke mode on the Ironwood XL is very close to a, a traditional offset pit as far as the flavor you get on it. So I really like that and it's very easy to set up. I use my app to control the grill. Um, I love Trager's recipes that they have on their app. And yeah, overall, it's just a fantastic grill. It's insulated, so those harsh Minnesota winters, um, you don't have to worry about an insulation blanket on here. It's all taken care of for you. So I think we've covered just about all of you that are gonna need to be buying a grill or upgrading the grill that you currently have at home that maybe you got on a Home Depot special. My buddies over here at Smokestack Barbecue Supply Store are more than willing to help you out. Thank you, Alan, for showing us around, showing us Thank a few you, grills. Man. Yes. Make sure you swing at the Smokestack Barbecue Supply Store if you are in the Brainerd Lakes area. Just or Alexandria. Or Alexandria, because they do have a location there over there too as well. But I appreciate yeah, your time. Absolutely. Thank you. And we'll get back up and cook something soon.